This week on GBTV. Miss the parade? No worries, Team 5 has got the story covered. Need a homecoming date? Quentin Albertson can help you out. And after Hurricane Harvey devastated Southern Texas, NHS teams up to help the victims out. Now let's check out Cross Country's trip to Memphis. Good afternoon, Grand Valley. I'm Caleb. And I'm Jenna. And this is this week's episode of GBTV. First off, Team 3 has the recap of the 2017 Grand Valley Fair Days Parade. Let's check it out. I'm here with William Lanier, football player. Um, William, will you uh, tell us what the parade's all about? Uh, it's about the Valley Fair Days that we're having this weekend. All right, and what was your favorite part of the parade? Favorite part was uh, definitely the kids, you know. I'm here with Luke, sixth grader from Grand Valley uh, South Middle School. And uh, Luke, what was your favorite part of the parade? Throwing candy at everyone. <laughs> Are you going to go to the fair tonight? Of course. Thank you, Luke. I'm here with senior Nathan Snow, the center snare drummer for the Marching Eagles, and what was your favorite part of the parade? Uh, my favorite part would probably be um, being in charge of the tempo and doing taps throughout the whole parade and not stopping playing for a long time. All right, uh, have you been to the uh, fair yet? Uh, yes, I have. And uh, what was your favorite part about the fair? Uh, my favorite part was probably getting to hang out with all my friends there and uh, ride on some of the cool rides with them for a while. All right, thank you, Nathan. That seems like a lot of fun. Let's keep the festivities rolling with homecoming. Quinn Alberson and Carson Markham are here to help you find a date to homecoming. Hey, you! Yes, you! Are you planning on going to homecoming? Are you planning on going like that? Oh, well, it's no problem, sport. Perfect, you look the part now. Wait a second. Ah, there we are. Now that you look the part, let's make sure you have a ticket for Mrs. Perry's office. Make sure you paid your fees well in advance. Ah, now that you've paid your fees, you are well on your way. Enjoy the dance. And that's all for today, folks. Make sure that you have a swell time, and thank you for watching. Thanks, Quentin and Carson. That seemed like a lot of help. And speaking of help, NHS put on a diaper drive to help the Hurricane Harvey victims. Let's check out this inspiring story. Hurricane Harvey, one of the latest natural disasters to strike the United States. This Category 4 hurricane killed at least 60 people and destroyed a lot of houses. The help for the victims have been enormous. Here's what NHS did at a football game to help raise goods for the victims. My name is Brian Jones and I'm one of the people that uh, co-sponsored this project for the diaper drive for those affected by Hurricane Harvey. And uh, Friday, September 8th is when we had our football game against Center High School and we partnered with them uh, to put on a drive at the football game to where anyone who brought a package of diapers uh, received free admission to the football game. Uh, and so uh, after the night, we ended up with about a little over 230 packages of diapers, which is awesome uh, that we can impact that many people through that. But we also received um, from that weekend over $1,000 in monetary donations, uh, which is really good uh, and really awesome to see that impact. Uh, we also did the parade on Saturday. We had uh, National Honor Society students. They walked uh, through the parade uh, accepting monetary donations as well as uh, diaper packages um, to be able to put towards this effort. 
uh, and we also did the uh, F Valley Fair days where the Burger Barn set up a, um, a collection tote to be able to collect diapers for the diaper drive as well. And then throughout the following week after that football game, we had a whole week of just collection of diapers throughout the entire city. Um, so we, we've had a, um, a tote at the Grain Valley Market where people could donate there, as well as all of the schools in Grain Valley, all of them uh, all came together to donate diapers to this cause. And it was really awesome to see the community work together uh, for this effort. Wow, what an amazing way to show Grand Valley and the community what we're made of. Another way we showed what we're made of was by our cross-country team going to Memphis, Tennessee. Hey guys, I'm here with Mariah. Mariah, can you tell me how you think you did in Memphis? Um, well, I took fifth overall at Tennessee, and um, our team took eighth out of 72 teams, so that's pretty good. Awesome, and can you tell me what was your favorite part of the trip? Um, probably one of my favorite parts of the trip was taking an ice bath with Kayla Wade and I don't know we take one every time and it's kind of just a ritual so all right thank you hey guys here with Royce Fisher Royce can you tell me how you think you did in Memphis um I think I did very well in Memphis I was very pleased with my performance and uh, I got a PR and now here moving forward I just got to keep pushing and working hard all right and can you tell me about your favorite part of the trip um, I would have to say my favorite part of the trip was bonding with my teammates, playing loud music and on the speakers, the bus ride there, just having fun in the hotel, so that's pretty much it. All right, thank you, Royce. Hey guys, here with Coach Small. Coach Small, can you tell me how your team did in Memphis? Sure. Um, so a few weekends ago we went down to Memphis. It's been a lot of fun to kind of analyze those results and look and see what happened. Um, to be 100% honest, we saw a lot of good things going on from the individual side all the way to the team side. Um, on the girls side, uh, Mariah Lister ran very, very well finishing in the top five of that race, which when you have people, girls coming in from all different states to one area in, in such a big meet like that, that's pretty impressive. Um, and then on, on the team standings on the girls side, um, we were ranked somewhere in the middle of the pack around the, f in, in, there was like 40 some different teams there. Um, and we ended up finishing eighth. Uh, and so that was very surprising, um, even to myself and Coach Winkler, just looking at the standings, we did not see that coming. So the girls really stepped up um, when it mattered. Um, on the boys side, more of the same, uh, some really good individual performances from, you know, Roy Fisher did very, very well. Um, um, kind of building on his freshman season into his sophomore year uh, has taken some big jumps. Um, a lot of the other boys kind of followed suit and uh, that allowed us to, uh, even though we were ranked kind of in the middle of the field, we finished up towards the, 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 first, the front part of the race in this like 17 range. So um, it was very cool to get to see those guys step up and, and uh, really take hold of that opportunity. That's awesome, man. Can you tell me about your favorite part of the trip? Yeah, I guess uh, it would most definitely have to be the uh, the bus ride, getting to sit next to Coach Winkler for nine hours on the way there and back. That was pretty awesome. <laughs> now, on, a, on a serious note, though, um, you, you know, getting to see the kids out of their element in a, a new location, doing something we've never done before as a program, going to such a prestigious meet, they all handled it so well. Um, there was no no one there, even though we're pretty young on both sides, uh, boys and girls, there was no one there that took it for granted. They all were ready to go. Um, they all you know, took advantage of their opportunity and they did it with class and integrity. Um, and so that alone was probably my favorite part about the trip. All right, thank you. Back to you in the studio. Wow, that cross-country trip seemed like a blast. Thanks, Steven. And that wraps up this week's episode. But before we sign out, follow us on GBHS Eagle Media on Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube for all of the latest updates. See you next week, TV.